All right, let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a barn painting today. Looking at it from a different perspective, I got it kind of angled. Um, we are going to start with some phthalo blue. I have a little little picture up here I'm looking at. It's more of an idea than a, than a picture, so to speak. It's got the barn in it, but it has nothing else. So the rest of this, we're just going to wing it. So... I'm using a one inch brush right here. I do have liquid white right here. I brought it all the way down to there. Um, and the reason is because I, I just don't know what I'm gonna do. I seriously doubt sky's gonna come down to here. But, you know, just in case, who knows? Because I don't know what I'm gonna do with this yet in this area. So I am just throwing down some liquid white or some phthalo blue right now. We're going to mix all this up here in just a second. Uh, let me take a little Prussian blue. Put it up here at the top. And this looks like a mess already, don't it? I'm thinking it does myself, so I'm sure you do. Okay, let me get a two inch brush. If I think it's looking like a mess, it's, it's definitely looking like a mess. I'm going to start right here. Like I said, I have no idea what we're doing down here yet in this area. Let me just kind of get this next to the barn here a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to do some crisscross strokes. We're going to blend this up. The best that we can. You see I've got a problem here. I'll just scrub that out. See if you mix it hard enough it comes out. Got a little bit too much blue next to the building there. Let's just do some crisscrossing. All I'm going to have time to do today, you guys won't notice it, but for today is put collar on the canvas. And that is what I'm going to do. Because it's late in the evening. I just finished one. So, putting color on the canvas, if I can do that today, that's, that's pretty good. See, it's darker at the top. It's supposed to look like a horizon. Lighter at the bottom, darker at the top. A lot of times along the edges, I just don't have a lot of room to do that here. Well, I got number threes, so that'll be okay. This barn is going to be red today. Let me, let me go ahead and mark my lines out up here. So I don't lose them. It took me a while to draw this out. I use the grid method on something that's kind of complicated, which this is. It's hard for me just to look at a picture and draw this because this is kind of has a different perspective to it. I use a grid method. A lot of people knows what it is, but if you don't, you just draw grids on your picture and then you draw grids on this evenly spaced and you know, you just kind of just kind of draw it out and it helps I mean that's not a very good explanation I know but it's called the grid method I mean you can look it up on YouTube there's plenty of stuff on YouTube about stuff like that that's not a problem for information on YouTube that's for sure I'm gonna put a little brown Right in here, actually, a little raw umber, perhaps. Yeah, I seen this barn. I kind of liked it. I just got to think up something to put out in here. But I do like my barns. I miss them if I don't do one every so often. Seems like I do them all the time, but actually, I don't. I have a playlist of them, but it's, I don't think there's a lot on there. Not like mountains or anything. I have a lot of the mountain stuff, but this is a barn. This is all going to be red, so to speak. So we might as well just start anywhere we want. I'm just going to put a bunch of collars down like I typically do. This is a lizard and crimson. 
And then I'm just going to take a one inch brush and I'm going to mix everything up because we're just starting. And we're just putting collar down so you don't have to be real neat about it. Um, this had a door here, but I think that door is going to go bye bye. I don't think I like that door there. We're just going to throw a bunch of collar down as fast as we can so we can get this show on the road. This is a door and this is a door. Um, I have some bright red here too. I'm going to throw some bright red in. Since I put it on my palette, I don't like to waste that many. That stuff there costs some money. Cad red. That and cad yellow light. Those are expensive collars to buy. So I don't like wasting that. I use a lot of cad yellow. Um, let's see here. Throw some, I'll throw some brighter collars right here on this. This is like a slider thing you slide your barn doors open with. I'll make that a little brighter so I can, it'll stand out a little more. And we'll take some brown. This is a barn. You don't want it, you know, looking nice and neat. Solid red. You don't want that. You want it mixed. This is brown. You want lots of collars. Lots of different collars going on. I may have put too much red, not enough brown. This is our first coat, it's okay. I mean, we'll be going over this again, trust me. It ain't that easy. <laughs> it ain't putting down one coat and you're done. That ain't how this works. Yeah, that's really bright. I think we just about got enough on here. And I'm gonna make these black. Well, these are the doors for now. You can use raw umber also. Raw umber's a good color to me. It's a mix of brown and black. That's kind of what it looks like to me. I use it a lot, especially on trees, things of that nature, as a base starting out. It's good to mix with Prussian blue, make shadows. Raw umber is to me. Everybody's different. You know, everybody does different stuff. I'm just telling you what I like to do. But for now, we're going to make these doors dark. These are not doors. These are openings. Just for now. Okay, let me look at that. I'll have to drip, make this a little neat right here so I don't lose my angles. I might want to go ahead and just do these real quick. Because when I start mixing these collars, I'm going to lose lose my lines here. And I don't want to do that, then I'll have to do it all over again, won't I? This is raw umber. Still using it. Okay, I think I can tell now what that is. Let me mark this line out. Yeah, I spend all this time drawing this out, man. I don't want to lose my lines because then I've done it for nothing. And I think I can tell what that is. Now this, let me um, put a little crimson in this right here. Let me go ahead and do this too before I get going crazy with my big bigger brush. Just putting color down the canvas, that's all we're doing. Actually that goes all the way up to here. See, I almost messed up. My line is higher than that. It's all the way up there. Okay, let me look at it a second here. See if we're ready. This brush had pale purple on it. Off the last painting I just did, and you know what, that may be okay. 
Let me wipe some of it out. Oh, I don't dirty up another brush. Yeah, I think this will be fine. And we're just going to mix all this up. And I am probably going to wind up wiping this off so I can start painting on it tomorrow. Be nice and dry for me. I'm going to stay away from some of these edges and take a small brush. Like this. See, if I mess with that, I'll lose that edge. I don't want to do that. I do not want to do that right now. It's okay to get some of this dark on here. I ain't worried about that. It's okay there. I'm going to stay away from this edge right there a little bit. Yeah, we're just mixing collars up is all we're doing. I am going to wipe this off. I put a little bit too much paint down. And you can tell when you start doing this. Let's go ahead and do our doors. Get our doors done. Let me get me a small brush. Preferably the one I was just using. And I'm just going to kind of go around here and just kind of fill this in a little bit. Just as long as I can see my line. It don't have to be perfect today. We're going to be going over this again and again. At least two more times, I'm sure. edge here a little bit just filling in um, I think I might just leave that edge there leave that line so I can see it tomorrow if I don't I'll get confused <laughs> let's throw a little bit of grass in and we'll probably that's probably all we're gonna do today okay I, like I said I don't know what we want here yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some grass in I think I want the Sun to be coming down this way on the face of the barn I'm not sure uh, really about anything else yet. Um, start with Cad Yellow Light. I'm going to switch over to some ochre real fast here. Okay, I'm looking at it here. Let's see, where do I want my light to start and stop? That's important. Let's throw in some green. I'm thinking, thinking while I'm painting here, we want the corners dark. If the light's coming down that way though, I'm going to think about that for a second. Let's take a little Prussian blue, mix it with some green. I think that's okay for now. Let me get me a brush, get my brush back. I think I will just use this bluish brush. I don't want red down here necessarily. This brush had blue on, it's okay. I ain't, I ain't worried about it. I'll stick it in this yellow, I don't care. <laughs> I know I don't normally do that, but today is an exception. Cause I'm gonna wipe this off anyway, and this is this is not the final product, so I ain't worried about it. Okay, folks, I got some color on the canvas. I'm gonna take a shop towel. I'm gonna wipe this off and my grass. All right, let me show you what I'm getting ready to do here. I haven't started yet. Um, I'm getting ready to start mixing some collars up. This is the next day. I done this yesterday. We put a coat of paint on. 
Now I'm going to start putting some boards on, so to speak. I'm just going to take collars. You got to have a good mixture of collars. This is a lizard and crimson. Um, this goes all the way down. I had to I had to rework some of my some of this earlier because I did it so fast yesterday. I, it's okay. I mean, it's a process. It just takes time. And I put these little black marks on here. These aren't boards. These are to keep me lined up because this barn is a different perspective. And man, you can get thrown off pretty easy. And then my boards will be crooked. So I put these just to help me, basically. But I'm just going to take some random collars. Here's brown. Just random stuff, random collars. Lizard and crimson, brown. And we're going to start making a barn. We're going to start putting some collar down on this thing. Uh, let's see what some burnt sienna looks like. I don't know. It's not too bad. It's a different collar. You know, barns are barns. They're rough looking. I personally, oh, well, that's all right. <laughs> that's some cad red light. My brush ran into it. That's okay. But uh, barns are supposed to be rough looking. And I, and I like rough looking stuff. I like old things. Antique looking things. Let's take some more brown. Yeah, that's that's all I'm really doing right now. I'm just and this is our second layer. This is our first layer. We done that yesterday. This is our second. And there'll probably be more than that. I know there'll be three. There's some white. I know that for a fact. Hopefully no more than that. We're just randomly throwing things in, and this is how I do it. You know, I just if I think something would look good in a certain area, if you know, it, it gets it, whatever color it is. But after we do this, we'll put our we'll put our stripes on or our boards on here next. And when I say boards, I just mean our lines. And then we'll touch it up again with another layer of paint and hopefully it'll just about be good. See the more you do, it just takes time man. Just take, have patience, take your time. Don't sweat the small stuff because we're just getting started. Just keep plugging along at it and you'll get it. Just do a little at a time and you'll get there. Brown, lizard crimson. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish most of this off camera here. I just want to show you what I'm doing. See, that looks better than that, don't it? Look at that beautiful collar variation. Okay, even this cad red light looks good right there. I like it. Looks like it belongs. But it's all about imagination. Just use your imagination. You'll do good. Just keep going. Don't quit. <laughs> People say they can't paint or can't play the guitar or can't do this. Can't do, well, you have to practice. You can. Anybody can just about do anything if you practice enough. I've learned that over the years. People, people quit and give up too easy sometimes, but keep going, don't quit. Don't quit, keep going. Same goes with painting or anything else, just keep going, don't quit. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest of this off camera and I'll be back. Okay, I think I'm gonna, I made this a little mound right here. I changed this grass line, I made this little mound. I think I'm gonna put a tree back there. Just one standing by itself. 
and I don't think I want it to be a big tree. So let's just figure out how big we want it. You know, start small and work your way up. Don't start with a monster tree. Yeah, I mean, that's close to what we want. It may, it may make it a little bit bigger. We'll just see how it goes. But start small and work your way up. Don't don't just start out with a gigantic tree because you may not want it. This is going to be a leaf tree, so these branches will have leaves. Let me see if I got a smaller brush. I got one brush that's a little smaller. I was trying not to use it for dark colors, but I think I'm gonna have to. Can't always get what we want, can we? <laughs> Yeah, just put you some branches on here. And as I said, these are going to have leaves, so you are not going to see a lot of these branches. But you got to have them in there anyway. See that tree's distant, and I think that I think that's okay. I think that's what we want. While I'm at it, I think I want to go ahead and put a fence right here. I'm using raw umber. This is real wet. Let's see how big do we want it? We got to make it look right. I'm just kind of just placing where I think it should go. Got a leaner right here. You always got to have a leaner. Uh, let's put some railings on it. Make it look more authentic, right? This railing here is falling down. That don't look too bad for now. I have we got a highlight layer. It's pretty wet, so I might just wait on the highlight. Let's try and see what happens. Let's take some. I mean, don't hurt to try, does it? Let's take some black, some green. Um, the sun's coming down this way. I think we've determined. Let's see just how bad this is. When I say bad, let's see how wet it is. Yeah, it's not super bad. I'm just whipping in, doing the comma strokes, because this tree's not that far away. It, it definitely needs some comma stroke leaves on it. Not the one inch brush. Comma strokes. Let's see. Throw in a little, make them a little darker. I like them a little darker than this. Now, if I can, if I can, I'll just stop and wait till it dries a little bit and do it. But I, I like them a little darker than that. Wished I'd noticed that when I first started instead of waiting till now, but that's how it goes, isn't it? I'm just using pure black actually right now because I want these a little darker. Let's see if I can put any more leaves on here without tearing stuff up. Let's take some sap green. OK, 
tad yellow, more yellow than green probably. This is going to be our mid-tone color. Wipe your brush off. Sap green, yellow. More yellow than green when you load your brush. Okay, this can be our mid-tone right here. Try to put three colors on, on pretty much everything you do. That's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to use three colors. And I'm going to use pure CAD light. CAD yellow light. Let's see what we can do with this. And I'm just going to try to put most of it on the edges, where, right where I think the sun is hitting the most. And we'll see what happens. We don't like it. We'll redo it tomorrow. I, you know, this is real wet, so and you got to be, you got to think about that. When it's real wet, it's gonna, everything's gonna mix. But if it's good enough, we're gonna leave it. Add you a little light. Let's find something in here. I think there's a spot here. Probably could use some. I mean, you can work with things when they're wet, but it is a lot harder. Sometimes I let my paintings, I do it all the time. I let them sit overnight. All right, let's go ahead and throw our grass in. Let's get that part out of the way. Um, I may have to, I think I'm going to have to redo these fence posts. I'm going to throw some grass up in here. they got to be bigger, it looks to me like. So I'm going to start with some cad yellow light. And we're going to see what happens here. I mean, I may have to cover them up. I don't know. But this grass back here has been sitting around. It's hard to, it's hard to match your grasses, I've noticed, that when they've been sitting around a little bit. But I mean, a May, it might work out. I don't know. I'm trying to blend it together the best I can. But I've been working on the barn and we're doing the grass. Now I'd really like to get this painting finished today if I could. If at all possible. Because I'm kind of running behind a little bit. <laughs> Running behind when you paint is not a good thing. Because man wants to get behind, boy, it's hard to catch up. I ain't kidding you about that. This is sap green I'm using now. And I'm throwing it up on the barn. That's, that's what we want. That's okay. Sap green. I'm using a brush that's just about ready to be tossed. So I figure I'll give her give it one more try here and see what happens. My fan brushes, man, I put them through it. I really do. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're for though, right? Yeah, throw this grass up on your barn. It's perfectly fine. I don't I don't think I'll put a path here. I, I don't think it's really necessary. I'm going to get into some Prussian blue here in a second. Real soon. Such as now. Prussian blue and sap green. Let's darken this up. This is needs to be darkened. Darken the corners and along the bottom is what you really want. And uh, I'll even throw in lizard and crimson sometimes in this area here. Because I got some right here I need to use. 
I like using my collars, man. I don't like wasting nothing. If it's on my palette and I think it's going to go to waste, it's going to go into the painting somewhere, as long as it looks good. Blue and red, of course, just makes a purple, purplish collar, so it's fine to use in the corner. I'm kind of lifting up on the grass as I'm doing this. A lot of you have seen me do this before. See, that doesn't look too bad. This brush did make it one more time. I use my brushes, man, till they're just till they're dead, just about. All right, as you can see, I put a pitchfork here. Got me a little shadow running up. The shadow, unfortunately, is right where the <laughs> board meets. You can't see it real well, which is disappointing. I like good shadows. But I put a rain barrel here, and let's work on the rain barrel a little bit. I'm just taking some white, some yellow ochre. This is, I just put it in. It's really wet. Um, we're just going to make this side the bright side, which would be the left side. And it's going to get a little darker as we as you come around, obviously. We're just going to throw some different colors in. That was white and yellow ochre. Let me see if I can paint paint these in in board shapes, which I normally do. I just forgot. As we're going around, we're going to make it a little darker. This is brown. It's probably getting to be a too dark. I'm going to put a little light, lighten it up a little bit. Okay, that's better. I want you to be able to see the collars. But it will get darker as it goes around. Brown, ochre. Yeah, I couldn't really think of nothing else to put in in this particular painting but a pitchfork and a barrel. And I, I think that's okay. I think it's probably good enough for this because the barn is the main and it takes up most of the painting. So, um, yeah, let's just keep working on this. I'll make this pretty bright here just for the moment. Come around, gets darker. Okay. So let's make the back side a little bit darker. And plus you're gonna have shadows here. This is raw umber I just grabbed. Needs to be darker. Okay, that's probably close enough <laughs> for now. Okay, let's go ahead. Man, I hate to stick my brush in blue. I almost did. And I did. Oh well. Now we're going to have to put our shadows in. We want some shadows, let's see. Probably want it to come down and around. This is real wet. I'll have to probably wipe this off and possibly redo some of this. Because this is so Take a different brush and kind of blend it a little. It's, the shadow's too strong right there. Cat's jumping around on my stuff over there. And so let's take some, uh, let's put us a couple bands on here. A couple of bands here. See, this is really wet. But but we're getting it going. I mean, you can paint with wet paint. I do it all the time. It's this is not as much fun. I 
Okay, what I'm going to do is finish this barrel. And I think I'm going to make this make a, some type of a path. I changed my mind about that. My wife said, you should need a path. And I thought, I thought, well, maybe I do because this barn does look like it's you. Sometimes I put paths, sometimes I don't. Okay, I will be right back. Well, folks, that looks like a wrap. I added a little path right here. That's what I did. That's the change that I made. I, th I think that really made a difference. You just got to think about it sometimes. Hey, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching.